Hi there, I'm Cyan and welcome to Something Sciencey. In today's episode, we're going to be continuing the theme of what the scientists fondly call zombie parasites by looking at a fungus that takes over an ant's body and mind for its own nefarious means. Ew. Cordyceps unilateralis is an entomopathogenic ascomycete fungi that is technically an endoparasitoid and not a true parasite. Oh, wait, what? The zombie parasite we'll be looking at today is Ophiocordyceps unilateralis, which is a fungus. Now, fungi come in different groups depending on how they spread their spores, and spores are kind of like fungus seeds. An ascomycete fungus forms a spore sac, which then bursts open, shooting its spores everywhere. And an entomopathogenic fungus is one that infects insects, offering disabling them. And an endoparasitoid is sort of like a parasite, except it has to kill the host before it can complete its life cycle. Oh, so Ophiocordyceps unilateralis is an entomopathogenic ascomycete fungi that is technically an endoparasitoid, not an actual parasite. Right. This here is a carpenter ant, Campanotus leonardi, and these live in the forests of Thailand and Brazil, hollowing out trees for their colonies. An Ophiocordyceps spore lands on the ant's exoskeleton and works its way into the hemocele, which is the body cavity found in insects. Here it is in its yeast stage, which are single cells that look a bit like bacteria, and these cells release chemicals that cause the ant to convulse until it shakes itself off onto the forest floor. The chemicals will then force the ant to find a plant or tree and make it climb using only its jaws until it is high enough. There, high up in the plant, the ant locks its jaws. The fungus cells grow into long roots called hyphae and these push into the ant's muscles so that when it dies, which will be very soon now, it won't fall off. These also push out of the ant into the plant stem to anchor the ant more firmly into place. Now the fungus grows and its spore sac pushes out the ant head, ready to burst spores all over the ant colony below, and it starts all over again. This parasitoid doesn't just infect ants, it can also infect other insects. In fact, it seems to know which one it lands on because it releases different brain control chemicals depending on where it is. However, it doesn't control other insects as well as it can control ants. But that's okay for the fungus, because it can control ants so well that it can wipe out entire colonies. But for humans, this fungus is great. It doesn't want bacteria eating up its little rotting ant body nest, and so it produces antibiotics, which can be used in human medicine. Hi, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. And please be sure to subscribe, because next time we're going to be looking at human parasites. Um, we're going to be looking at leishmaniasis, which is something that I'm very excited about because I actually know someone who has been infected with this parasite and hopefully we shall be talking to them. Um, if you have any comments or questions about this episode, please write them in the comment box below or you can tweet me at ask underscore cyan. And now you're the bit that you've all been waiting for. You've come for the science and now you stayed for the song. But first, let me just say that the general name of this endo endoparasitoid fungus is cordyceps. And so now I present the cordyceps shake. Deep in the forest there's a little tribe of ants called Campanotus. But high in the trees like a horrible disease is a growing fungus. A carpenter and choose wood over here. She chews like she's got nothing to fear. But then a small ends upon her back. She looks like she's having a heart attack. She does the shake, 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 shake. Do the cordyceps shake, 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 shake. Do the cordyceps shake, shake, shake. i
Thanks for watching. Bye.